With the ChatGPT API, you can build your own AI app in a matter of minutes, even if you know nothing about Python or programming. The first thing you need is an API key. You have to go to platform.openai.com and use the same exact login as you would on ChatGPT. And boom, we're inside. Now go on to the left and click on API keys. If you've never been here before, you might need to verify your phone number. Now after you verify the phone number, it should look something like this. Now as you can see, I already have some API keys over here and I also have an organization, David Andre. You will probably have this empty and that's fine. All we have to do is create a new secret key. And as the name suggests, it's secret. So do not share this with anybody. So let's do a tutorial and create secret key. Now as it says, you won't be able to view it again. So make sure to copy it. I'm gonna go into VS Code and put it as a comment, which is actually not not a good practice so instead what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create the environment uh, file right away open ai api key and assign this now you might be thinking but david what are you gonna build well i want to make an app like blinkist you know it gives you book summaries now, obviously we won't have fancy ui like this but we'll use gpt4 to create custom book summarizer where we can give it a topic and it gives us all the mentions of that topic in a 200 page book now the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna import some packages os will be using this to access the environment variable. PyPDF2 will be, you know, processing the PDF files for that. OpenAI, obviously, this is for accessing the GPT-4 API. VS Code is not recognizing these packages, and that's because I have not installed them. Now, actually, OpenAI, if you go to documentation, quick start, they have an excellent guide on getting started, right? By the way, you can always ask ChatGPT to install these packages. What you would normally do is go into terminal and create a new terminal and do, you know, pip install OpenAI. But actually, I'm using a Conda here, pip install OpenAI. So as you can see, it's installing the, all the packages, pip install PyPDF2. And we also need .env. Now, this one is a little different. This one is uh, pip install Python dash .env. OK, and as you can see, it's no longer highlighted, which is good. The next thing is we need to load the environment variable because right now we have it saved, but it's not actually accessible in the main.py file. So I'm gonna paste this line of code. All right, so let's set up the key variables we will need for this. The first one is the model, you know, the language model. If we go into documentation and go into models, you'll see like all the different models OpenAI offers. Obviously we're gonna go for GPT-4. But yeah, as you can see, it's 128,000 token window, which is four times bigger than ChatGPT. And this is like only one of the main reasons why APIs are awesome. Like APIs have made building AI apps 100 times easier. Imagine if there were no APIs, like from the one from OpenAI or Google, DeepMind, like imagine if there wasn't an, any API available. We would have to build those language models from scratch or use open source ones and run like inference locally. That's much more complicated than just using OpenAI's API. So this has made building AI apps 100 times easier. In fact, people are building entire companies with this exact method. Let's look at perplexity valuation. This AI startup is valued at $520 million. That's half a billion dollars. And it was built on top of the GPT-4 API. Like, Knowing how to use API will give you a massive advantage in the AI revolution. Once AGI is created, it won't matter what your income is or what college degree you have. The thing that will matter by far the most is what you know and who you know. This is precisely why I created the new society, a community of people at the cutting edge of AI. So if you want to be among the people who are building the future, make sure to join. First link in the description. Now let's continue setting up the key variables. We have the model, but we also need the temperature, which 0.7 is the default one inside of ChatGPT. I'm gonna use 0.3 to make the model a little more deterministic, little less random. We also need uh, max tokens. Let's do like 500, that's pretty standard, I think. And I'm gonna also set the topic, which is gonna be what the AI makes the summary on. So we can leave this empty for now. Now we have the key variables. Actually, I'm gonna create one more file and that's gonna be prompts.py and this is going to be where we store the prompts so these are the prompts i'm working with and there are two prompts right so it's intimidating but it's kind of simple at the same time there's a system message which you know as the custom instructions system prompt whatever you want to call it and then we have a function that creates a prompt the reason why we have this is that i can reference the book from the main python file and i can also change the topic so this is a variable 
and it can change. The reason I have to do such prompt engineering is because if you don't do this, the AI will actually refuse to give you book summaries because it's copyrighted material. So you have to go try hard and like convince it that it's your own text, as you can see, like I've over the past three years, I have dedicated myself to this work. Like you li literally have to create a story that this is your book. Now the book I've chosen to summarize is The Almanac of Naval Ravikant by Eric Jorgensen. This one, you know, has a free PDF online, 242 pages. And it's honestly one of the best books I've ever read. Okay, so now we have the PDF right here. There's a lot of garbage in here. And that's why we installed the PDF package is because we're going to use that to actually read the PDF because it's not as simple as reading a TXT file. Okay, yeah, I read the PDF file. So let's do an empty book variable file path equals and then we do naval.pdf. You know what? I'm going to put this on hold and I'm going to do a test API call. And in here we need to do system message and we, sh we need to reference this system message. To do that, we have to import prompts. So let's go in here and import prompts. And then we can do prompts that system message. Beautiful. Obviously, we also need the main prompt prompts that generate prompt. Now, actually in here, I'm going to pass the book which i've deleted so let's put it back in empty variable for now and topic for a reference of the of the topic that's i mean i spent a good hour on this just trying to convince gpt4 that it's fine to summarize the book it's good to create a helper function and make it a bit simpler also it's smart to go into the documentation because every few months this gets changed quite a bit we have the two first two lines and we can copy the rest paste it in here and i'm gonna comment it out boom now we can name the function like, I don't know, get summary, right? So let's follow the official documentation. Completion equals client dot chat dot completions dot create. And actually in here, we could do it like this, you know, but I think I'm going to simplify it. That way it's like much easier to see what's actually going on. So let's go back to the function messages equals messages. We also do temperature equals temperature and max tokens equals max tokens and now we have to return the completion return completion choices message and this is not everything because we only need the content because if we go into api and actually go into chat you can see how it looks like this is the, how the response looks so this is how it looks right and what we really need is we need choices the first choice index zero so we have that you know completion that choices zero and then we need the message message and specifically the content we don't need a role we need the content so this is how we access exactly you know the good part and this should be the main part done so we can actually delete this and you know we need the print summary to test it out let's do something simple right so this is just a string we can do you are a helpful assistant this is classic and for here you know you can say like list out 10 facts about ai whatever and if we do this we should get an API response, hopefully. Oh, there it is. We've gotten a response from GPT-4 Turbo. And actually, what's fun, let's go into um, API keys and let's go into, where is it? Usage, okay, usage. This is my current spend for today. So we will see how much it costs at the end. Hopefully all of this is simple. By the way, what you can do if like anything doesn't make sense, just go into chat GPT and say, explain the following code as if I'm a beginner. Boom, paste it in here and it will explain it. You don't even have to copy paste it. You can just screenshot it. Boom, explain every line of code. And then, yeah, you can just paste a screenshot from any video you watch. Like GPT vision is so amazing. Now the topic, actually let's set it now so I don't forget. Let's do money because I know that's mentioned in the book. Like you can consume an entire 242 page book in a matter of minutes once you have this running. We also need the file path as we had it before, Naval PDF. And now we need to open it. This I'm going to delete because we actually need to remove the first like 23 pages and the last 30 pages. For some reason, when the AI sees contents, it doesn't like that. So I literally had to remove like 53 pages from the book. You know, unfortunately, we can't have it so simple. You know, this is how we open the file at the file path. We save it as a file variable. Then we do reader, which is a new variable, and we assign to it PDF reader from the library. Next, we need to do total pages, and that equals to length of reader.pages and for starting page we need to start page equals 23 and end page equals total pages minus 30. 
Now we need a for loop, and as you can see, Copilot is already uh, suggesting that for us. But let's you know, let's write it out. Why not? For for every page number in a range, and you know, again, this is range of numbers. Starting with start page twenty three and end page, which is total pages minus thirty, and then for every page, we should do page equals reader dot pages page number, and then we do simply we append the page to our book with you know we can do a new line character or just a space let's do a space and actually it should be book obviously so now this should give us a book variable with the entire text of the pdf print book to test it out now as you can see it clearly worked because we have the entire book printed in here we have to change our messages to system message and to prompt and then we use using this simple function let us change the topic summary on money happiness fitness like the, the naval book is about a lot of topics again i definitely recommend you read it it's an amazing book shout out eric jorgensen we should have everything in order let's do a test run and cr fingers crossed that the ai doesn't refuse because we're literally pasting in i mean we can just go to wordcounter.net and see how many words this is obviously we removed some pages but still 46,000 words so we removed probably like it's probably like 40,000 words which to convert it to tokens we have to do this is 53,000 tokens so like half of the context window of gpt4 and as you can see we got a response and let's actually see how much money we've spent let's go into billing usage refresh it probably still needs to update but yeah it's gonna be like you know one or two dollars at most one thing i want you to understand is that building apps with apis is a massive opportunity there are thousands of small niches that big companies like openar or deepmind will never go after niches or industries where you actually have an unfair advantage a lot of experience so you know what the people need like launching a startup has never been easier OpenAI tells you everything and also we have this amazing tool ChatGPT as you can see it broke down every single line of code and explained it you don't even have to know programming you can just learn while you're building something now I'm going to upload all of this code including the prompts in here into this module in my community where I also upload all my custom instructions great custom instructions from others all the code from my past videos the projects I've built in Unity my custom GPTs, as well as a bunch of other stuff. If you want to prepare for the AI revolution and don't want to be left behind like most people will, make sure to join. First link in the description.